UV ink adhesion testing. How to perform cross-hatch testing for UV ink adhesion. EFI utilizes the ASTM standard test method for measuring adhesion by tape test with the designation of D3359-09, specifically test method B. The kit used in this video is from GuardCo. The kit itself is referred to as the PAT kit or paint adhesion testing kit. The GuardCo kit comes in a sturdy plastic carrying case with handle. The kit includes a copy of the ASTM standard test method for measuring adhesion by tape test for use as an instructional guide, a blade holder handle with guide, a hex wrench for changing blades, a flaking or cleaning brush, an LED handheld magnifying glass, and a standard tape from Endo Tape. Now that we've reviewed what we have for equipment and the method that we will use for UV ink adhesion testing, we are going to take this printed sample and utilizing the blade holder, we are going to make two cuts on each one of these color blocks. The first cut will be made while holding the blade handle flat against the surface of the material and dragging towards us. The second cut will be made 90 degrees off from the first cut. Once the bi-directional cuts are complete, you should create a block with 100 small squares inside the block. We would be repeating this activity for the other color blocks on the printed sample. Once we have our bi-directional cuts complete and we've completed our three crosshatch cuts, it is recommended to clean the surface of the material with a dry lint-free wipe. In order to keep the blades clean from any debris that we may have picked up during the crosshatch cutting process, it's recommended to clean the blades using the brush that came in the carrying case. Next, we're going to use a piece of the endo tape on each one of the crosshatch cuts created at a 45 degree angle. The reason we place the tape at a 45 degree angle is to pull on the crosshatch created squares at its weakest point, which is the corners. It is also recommended to allow the endo tape to sit for 30 seconds prior to pulling for the tape test. Once the allotted time has passed, go ahead and pull the tape. Please ensure when you pull the tape that you pull across as opposed to pulling up. Now that that's complete, we will reinterpret the results according to the ASTM standards. In order to simplify the ASTM standards and what we're interpreting, is the amount of ink that is lifted by the tape from the 100 square grid that we previously cut in the crosshatch cutting process. One square is approximately 1%. In many instances during the tape test, you may have just tiny parts of a few squares being pulled by the tape. In these instances, you may mentally calculate what kind of percentage is being left behind on the overall grid and score accordingly. In this case, on this test, we would consider the end result to be fours based on the fact that they have less than 5% of the ink in the grid that was pulled by the tape. The grade of this print sample would be approximately a four. The grade of this print sample would be a zero. The grade of this print sample would be considered a one or possibly a zero. The grade of this print sample would be approximately a three. The grade of this print sample would also be approximately a three. The grade of this print sample would be approximately a five. The grade of this print sample would again be approximately a five. The grade of this print sample would be a zero. The grade of this print sample would also be a zero. The grade of this print sample would be approximately a four. Print sample testing. Print sample test PDF and recommended rip settings. Print sample testing. Download and process a print sample test PDF file from the following EFI inkjet support website. Ensure to process the PDF via FireEXF 
with color management disabled or using the color optimization choice of clean colors. You may also choose to create your own print sample test files that include lights, darks, and 100% blocks of color.